What's the idea with this thing, Angie? It's a KitchenAid mixer. Yeah, uh... <laughs> It weighs, I can't lift it over here, guys. It weighs a ton. Yeah, this is a high-quality mixer, KitchenAid. Uh, this is like a $400 machine. So it says it's supposed to last us for a while. A like 10 to 15 years or so? Or longer, or shorter, depending. This is that. one of the parts it came with. Yeah, that's a part that peels the, uh, peels the ingredients, why the mixer's going, but... We're going to put our ingredients in. What are we going to be mixing today? Well, we're planning to have meatloaf. And we're going to use uh, this KitchenAid to mix our meat, the eggs, and the uh, other yes, stuff. And it came with these, too. It came with this, and it came with a bread hook, and this is for your whisk, for your egg batters. Yeah, the other one we're stuff. using is in there. And that's what we're using uh, in there. But that is a KitchenAid uh, mixer. Oh, God, Angie, you're going to bankrupt this channel. You want to show you something This here. part comes off, and we can put more stuff in there, like a slicer, potato peeler, and all that. <laughs> more equipment to put on, on here. In there. In there. So, yeah, she was going to take it off, but uh, it just shows uh, you can add uh, this in there. more equipment in there, which it's going to be costing an arm and a leg. Yeah, right. So you just twist it if you don't need this stuff. Yeah, just make sure it's uh, on tight, okay? So yeah, it doesn't come it off. It is. It is. You don't want that flying off when we're in operation, okay? All right. Uh, we are making meatloaf today because our recipe calls for, we're going to use this kind of meatloaf two mix. Two pounds. And there's our two pounds of hamburger. And we're going to use some breadcrumbs and, uh, well, uh, whatever prime cups I use uh, to help coat uh, some meat. But, uh, you guys anyway. don't have to use a KitchenAid mixer. This is our first time using it on the video. That's right. So let's start using it, okay? Yes. Okay, I know it's a little dark, but uh, we got our, our hamburger in there. Two pounds of hamburger. And we're going to add, uh, like I said, one of these, right? Yep. And how many eggs? Two. Two eggs? Okay. So, and breadcrumbs. Yes. So that's basically going to be it. Okay. So we'll add this uh, next. Yep. And we'll add our two eggs and our breadcrumbs. Okay. I don't know if you can tell or not. Uh, we got our, our seasoned mix in here. That's, that's this. So that's our seasoned mix. This bowl does come off. Just got to turn it. Turn it, and and now you can see our ingredients. Let's do it this way, uh, so we can see our ingredients better. This bowl does weigh a lot, too. Oh, there's the eggs. Okay. Angie's gonna. We're gonna add uh, our two eggs. One kind of broke. That's okay because it's gonna get scrambled anyway. Put that in the sink. And uh, where's our one for breadcrumbs? They're right there. They're right here. Okay. We're gonna be using we're gonna be using these uh, breadcrumbs uh, because it's easier to mix in. I think we'll probably need about like a half a cup, but we'll just pour what we need because this this is a kind of greasy hamburger. It's a 73 uh, 27 hamburger, and it's gonna be very greasy. So we'll add some more. It's almost like a half a cup, so between uh, a quarter of a cup, third of a cup to a half a cup. And now we'll just put this in the mixer. Make sure it's locked in place. And Angie, you can do the honors from here. Yeah, I know how to do you know, this. Now she's going to lower it. I'm going to lower it, you guys. It has a locking thing. On the other side. It's just not locked. Okay, now run the machine. Jack, which, which number do you want? <laughs> Start on low speed first. There's the stir. I don't know. Can you see it? I know it's poor lighting in here. But look how quiet it is compared it's, to the other mixer. It's very quiet. 
Ooh, this is really strong. Yeah, it is really mix it up really good. See, one is stir, it goes up to level 10. Okay. All we have to do is just make sure it's mixed in, okay? Yep. Uh, ham we're gonna mix. Uh, pretty good. And then now we gotta put it in the pan and put it in the oven. But that's how you use the KitchenAid uh, mixer, right? Pan mixer. And it makes almost anything, right? Yes. And today we decided to make a uh, meatloaf with that mixer because we want uh, to be safe so we don't have to handle it, right? Right. Because it, and KitchenAid comes in a lot of colors. Yeah. I'm just going to use uh, wax paper to kind of pat it and form it into this loaf pan. Mm -hmm. This hamburger will shrink. And I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to, we got some uh, leftover um, sweet and sour sauce. Oh. And I'm going to use it as a glaze as before we cook it. Because one of the things we have not done on our meatloaf recipes is a glaze. Okay, I'm going to finish this off off camera and see what it looks look like. Look at that beauty. We pat it all down in. The, the hamburger was mixed by using that KitchenAid mixer. Mm -hmm. That thing weighs a ton. It does. That's why uh, I can't lift it <laughs> by myself. It, it, that machine by itself it's has seven to... Quart. Well, it's seven quarts, but the weight of that thing has to be pretty close to 10 to 15 pounds. Pretty heavy. Yeah. It, it's a pretty heavy machine, so it's heavy duty. All right, uh, let's get this uh, uh, sweet and sour sauce. I was going to so use the sweet and sour uh, sauce. I used to do what they call a, at one time I used to, because this is where we're going to create a glaze. Uh, basically, we're going to use sweet and sour sauce. You can use any flavor. Um, at one time, we used to do uh, uh, duck sauce, which is a clear sauce. We haven't did that in a long time. Duck, we used to do a duck sauce and ketchup mixed together as the glaze. But... Uh, it ended up being almost similar to this, so uh, we're going to use sweet and sour sauce, and we'll see, we're just going to glaze it a little bit. Some of this sauce. Not a whole lot, because now you're going to use a brush, and we're just going to brush it across. Do not lick the brush because it is in contact with raw hamburger for safety reasons, that is a health reason. I know it's tempting to lick the brush after it's done, but it's already in contact with the raw meat and that's cross-contamination. You don't want to get food poisoning on that. Now we just got to cook it in the oven. If Angie wants to put it in the oven, Just like that. Slide it back in a little further. A little further back. About halfway in. Yep. That's good. And it's set for an hour, right? That's what it says. At an hour at 375 degrees. Yep. Okay. And we'll see what it looks like when it gets done. We might cook it a little bit longer than an hour. Okay. Here we go. One hour later. Let's see what we got here. What kind of mess are we involved today? Alright, we'll just do a slice right here. You guys, and I did homework. This yeah. mixer weighs 25 pounds. That mixer weighs 25 pounds? Yes. Ooh. Max slide chuck is 325 watts. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that meatloaf right there. Oh that looks good. And we're going to have some leftovers too. Because that's two pounds of meat. Look at it all did the shrunk a lot. And look at all the grease. And look at all the grease because that is a 70, because that is a 70, uh, that is a 73, uh, 27 uh, meat. So it will be greasy. Which we're out of hamburger. Which we're out of hamburger in that. So, okay. Uh, look at that. That looks good. That looks good. Hey, that's how we made our meatloaf by using that KitchenAid to mix the meat 
You guys, and they do have different sizes. So different sizes, different colors, and... Different attachments. Different attachments, and you know what? We'll find out if that meatloaf is good or not by mixing it in that uh, KitchenAid, okay? Yes. Oh, that was a unique way to make meatloaf. Out of that new uh, mixer. There's a lot of stuff you can make with them. So what was the total weight of our mixer that, that, according to the diagram? According to the thing between 20 and 26 pounds. Ours weighs 25. Wow. That's no wonder it's heavy. Now you know why you will have to lift it. Because I yeah. can't. <laughs> Gotta work up those biceps, Chuck. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. The meatloaf. Came out pretty good. Looks a little on the burnt side uh, because I think our oven run a little hotter than it should. But otherwise, uh, at least it was done. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the main thing. Uh, the glaze came up, gave it a little, gave it a little extra flavor. And it, it, like I said, it, was, it looks a little overdone, but it, at least the meat was done. Uh, but it came out, uh, it came out like in uh, flakes uh, almost, like I. You try to cut into it and it just falls apart at the right Excuse location. Me. That must have been good. Yeah. If you burp like that. <laughs> Next, I want to try to make, you know, the homemade pizza dough with it. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, speaking of pizza dough, I look at a pan uh, inside that we have. It's not the proper pan, but it gives us an idea. We're going to be, next time I do a pizza recipe. We're doing a a deep dish pizza. That's the pizza we had in Chicago. Yes. That takes a knife and a fork to eat. Yes. And we're going to make our very own sometime soon here on the channel. But we'll so we'll use the crust, we'll use the kitchen. We use our crust, we use our mixer, and we'll just use one of our uh, cake pans uh, to make the uh it's not the proper pan, but it's the only pan we have. From, from what I saw in those comments, those mixtures last for a long time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. But the meatloaf uh, in that mixer came out pretty good. Uh, better than I thought. Uh, good way to mix all the ingredients together and just keep mixing, mixing, mixing until it's done. Because it looks like it was pretty well mixed up together. So... And you may want to stop it, scrape it. Uh, you want to stop the operation, scrape it. You don't have to scrape it during the operation. No, it don't. does don't do that. Um, but if you want to, if you want to scrape uh, off the paddle and all that stuff, you want to stop the operation, scrape it off, put it in the bowl, then put it back down, mix it again. That's what basically we did uh, with the meatloaf and that. So, but that meatloaf came out good. Either it was a little on the burnt side. What it tastes came out, delicious. But it tastes good. At least it was done. At least it wasn't still mooing on the inside. I hate meatloaf when it still moves. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Oh, please, like, share, subscribe. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button notification. We'll see you later. Bye.